Hey, peeps. How y'all doing today? You doing good? That's good. Today is Wednesday, February the 22nd at 425 in the P. That's what time it is. And I'm about to do a story time, y'all. So, before I get into the story time, look, I had to go out today, right? It's supposed to be like almost 70 degrees today. Would you say what I say? It's supposed to be like 70, 70, 70 degrees today. In February 22nd. It was nice. It's been nice for like the last six, five or six days. So yeah, it's supposed to get back. The temp's supposed to drop, but not that bad. And I'm like, we really haven't had a winter like that. I think it snowed once. And yeah. So basically that's about it. Um is there anything else I need to tell y'all? Oh, yeah, my TV. The lamp came yesterday for the TV. So, we back in business. And it's brighter than ever. Yep. Sure is. Mm -hmm. Like brand new. So, yeah, we back in business with the TV. But, yeah, we had a ram in the bush, though. We had a little TV. So, yeah. But let me get on it to the get on with this read, y'all. Oh my nose. So yeah. I'm reading for this from this book today. Massage. Book done been through the storm and the rain. And ain't no telling how many moves. By Tim LaHaye and David Nobel. So yeah. I had this book since 2001, so it done been through the fight free moves. What, too? Yeah, two moves. Okay, y'all, let's do this. Oh, I'm still in chapter two The Wisdom of God. And I'm on the topic of no answer among men no answers among men here we go i'm giving y'all a look because y'all already know y'all already know i'm gonna butcher this word this name whatever the frederick nicious and michael falcox of the world do not have the answers. I guess these was like smart people, philosophers. I don't know. Not Nyshek. 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 <laughs> in his life in a mental world war. And Falkalt. Fall caught in his life in misery and disgrace. Before dying of AIDS, he gave the disease to all his lovers so they too could experience new pleasures beyond sex. Man, man siege, man siege, y'all. Here is Fall Caught's nihilism. This is his nihilism. Quote, every trace of ourselves that is shaped by others must be destroyed. Our political, cultural, sexual identities, our notions of right and wrong, sanity and madness, even what is true and false, all vanish. The wisdom of man cannot produce satisfactory replies to life's fundamental questions. Consequently, mm, 
a populist educated on a diet of secularism, the world, is not prepared for life and certainly is not prepared to teach its children. Yes, yet, as I write, books by Nyshek and Falkalt are the number one and two bestsellers at American college campus bookstores. The Apostle Paul warned the Greek thinkers, Greek thinkers of his day, the God has made foolish the wisdom of the world. In fact, Paul says the wisdom of this world does not lead to knowing God. 1 Corinthians 1, 20-21 Without God, the thinkers of the world can never grasp the secrets of life, origins, or destiny. As Paul explained, these things come only by revelation, the wisdom of God. No wonder the thinkers of his day failed to know God. They had not accepted Moses and the prophets. And today, nothing has changed. And that is so true. Even though God has given a sufficient revelation of himself and the mysteries of life, as recorded in the 66 books of the Bible, the wisdom of man has largely, largely rejected it. The Bible which contains that portion of God's wisdom that he has chosen to share with mankind not only produces a solid base for a morally sane society, but gives us clear answers to the enduring questions of life. These revealed answers cannot be naturally deducted. They, they are from above and not from so. below. That's the portion of this story time I wanted to read. And, I mean, remember this. This is about Friedrich and Michael. They're supposed to have been uh, Greek thinkers. I don't know if they was Greek or whatever, but he talking about Greek thinkers. So I'm, I'm assuming they back there somewhere and everything. And the topic is no answers among men. So yeah, and that part is the intro introduction to the next parts I'm going to be reading about true wisdom. So yeah, I think that's it for now. I wanted to get that on out there. I don't want to fall behind because I'm doing two reads now. So yeah, I might do the other one after I finish this one because that's supposed to be my Saturday read. The Power of a Praying Wife. And I suppose put that up Saturday. But I'm going to the show this weekend, Saturday. So I might just do the read and get it on out the way. And then upload it Saturday, sometime Saturday. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that little introduction. I mean, yeah. It wasn't that complicated. I hope it wasn't that complicated. Yeah, so I'm um uh, I just not too long got through washing dishes, y'all. Cleaning out my kitchen. And I was talking to the kids. I think when I was younger. I um when I was younger, my mom used to have been the only girl, right? I always I just seemed like I was the only one washing dishes. She might I'm sure she was, but I washed the main of the dishes after we ate dinner dishes and stuff. And I did not like washing dishes. I just didn't like nothing. I didn't like doing none of that stuff. But today I was telling the kids how I really like washing dishes. I like cleaning. It's funny how when you were a kid, a young teenager, how you be like, ew, ugh. I always got to do this. Why she, she making me always do that? And now I just so willingly um, clean, dust, wash dishes, clean wiping this off, wiping that off. 
I got up early this morning. I dust my room. I dust the living room. I ain't even do finished doing all the living room because it's like the most stuff you get, the most stuff you got the dust. I'm like, where do this dust come from? Where do it come from? Seriously, from what? What? So, but I found it to be very therapeutic today. And, I mean, it's a habit now, which I think is a good habit. They call, I mean, seriously, when you like to clean and how your stuff looking clean and um, whatever. They don't put a name to that OCD, but I don't, I don't get that. You know, either you like your stuff clean or you don't. Or you kind of in the middle, halfway, you know. Because I don't been, I don't have middle, halfway in the middle, and now I do. Some things, I be like, oh, dusting is one of those things. I be like, oh, but I do it. And once I get into it, once I get the, once I get my rhythm going, I'm gone. And uh, laundry, laundry is one of those things. I don't know, I never really I don't know. I, I, I didn't never really think too much about it. But me having a lot of kids, I was always doing laundry. So it wasn't, I had time to think. I just had to wash clothes, <laughs> you know. But now I'm getting old. I'm like, oh, I got to do laundry again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm getting to that point now where I'm like, man. So tomorrow, Thursday. Because today, Wednesday, I'm going to probably do my laundry. Because Friday, Friday, I don't, I have a four day of school. So, I don't want to be doing too much. Tomorrow, we have our hair for day since we went out today. So, I can start my laundry and probably be finished by the time I have a day uh, starts. Yeah. Because I get up kind of early and start on my laundry. But, um... Tomorrow I might have like four loads, maybe five. So, but I like my stuff clean, so that's the motivation. You got to look for it, for real. I mean, you have to really motivate yourself at times. Watch a few YouTube cleaning videos. <laughs> Because it just seems like it's just always so much to clean, so much to do, trying to, uh, trying to stay organized and everything. I mean, especially when you still like got kids and they got stuff and they busy, they be about and you know, you just got to do, you, all you can do is just do your best. And that's how I look at it. One day, one day, my stuff will be able to, you know, I clean it. It'll be able to stay clean. And I won't have to be doing so much of what I be doing. Yeah. But, um, you give me something to do besides just sitting. I don't like to just sit still too long. I sometimes just think of stuff. Like, oh, let me do this. Oh, let me do this. Because spring... I know spring um, break going to be coming up soon. And, like, I keep a lot of my bills. And I keep a lot of my um, instruction books for stuff I buy. And just stuff. And I organize them, like, during spring break. Because I keep everything in one drawer. I just throw it in this one drawer. So when spring break comes, I organize my receipts. I organize my instruction, put everything where it goes, school stuff, like the Sonny, he gets school stuff, or grades, report cards, I, I, got a, I got a place for that, and then that's what I'm going to be doing, I told the girls, that's what we're going to do, and stuff I buy, I keep my receipts, um, of stuff I buy for a while, I'm like, I mean, I seriously, I might show it to y'all. I don't know, because I be, it's like I keep them all in Ziploc bags, and I got, got written on Best Buy, um, just place to pay less, and I just keep all my receipts in each Ziploc bag, and after they get so full, after so much, I, I get rid of some, and 
you know, but it, that's continuing to be my Payless Ziploc bag, my Home Depot Ziploc bag, my Rainbow Ziploc bag, my JCPenney, Walmart, Kmart Ziploc bag, and I have them in bins. So on spring, on, over spring break, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through my one big drawer that I keep everything in, basically, and just organize it and put it where it belongs. It, it takes a minute, but it get done in one day. We just sit down and put it all on the floor. And I get Rena a pal. I get my pal. And my money orders. I keep uh, I keep my money orders and stuff. So I keep them by years. By. Yeah. <laughs> so And I staple them all together. We got to go through the money orders. I keep my money orders for a good while. Because you just don't know. If you got to show proof or something. So I keep them for a while while I feel comfortable enough until I feel like, okay, you can get rid of that. Then I got to go through some of my instruction books because I keep my manuals and stuff too. And I got to throw away some stuff. So I'm going to go through them and see do I still got this and throw away the old manuals uh, of stuff I don't even no longer have. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um during spring break and we fast in that week too but we'll be busy so yeah and let me um go and conclude this video and uh continue to um have to okay, edit I'm tired. it i went out and want myself out y'all i seriously want myself out oh i bought some stickers to go on my fingernails y'all see I got a lot of them off of Amazon. I'm just trying them out. Yeah, I'm girly, girly, y'all. I always have been. I'm into stuff. I don't care. I be 80 years old. <laughs> well, I had Rena to put some on because my hands just ain't sturdy like that and they be moving and stuff. And I just couldn't. Hey, I'm telling you something with my coordination skills and all that type of stuff. <laughs> So I'm like Rena. Rena did like these. I think I did these two. These these ones. She did these. So yeah, they cute. I got a lot of them. Next time I show y'all my stickers in my video. Next video, I just ordered that. No, ordered me a nail dryer. I really don't like that one. I might let the girls have that one and order me another one. It worked, but my hand, I don't know. My hands be kind of cramped trying to go up in there. I don't know. I'm just not. I don't, I don't like that one. I might let the girls have that one. So, yeah, I ordered me a lot of stickers. Spirit fingers, spirit fingers. Yep, I just sat here the other day, and I just polished my nails. I had nothing to do. I just polished my nails black. And then I just had an idea. I'm like, oh, let me put some little stickers. I did flowers. So let me put some little stickers on. So, let's see that one. I, yeah, I think we matched them. Same ones on each finger. So, yeah. All right, y'all. On that note, I'm out. And I hope everybody enjoyed a Thursday. Have a blessed Thursday, a safe Thursday, and a productive Thursday. We're going to be doing our, um, we got a few projects coming up. They want to do some tie-dye t-shirts. And we're going to do class of 2017 t-shirts for rain. And we're going to repaint, we're going to redo the letters in a room to match the comforter sets. So we got some projects to, we're going to be doing on a half a day. And I'll be recording that so y'all can see that. Alright. I guess that's it. <laughs> Alright. Peace. And love. Share some. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Again. I holla. Bye y'all. Thank you.